Hi everyone, my name is Wang Liang, the Aragon Watch Designer, and welcome to our channel. Uh, this is our Aragon Watch Review, and today we are going to talk about the concept as chronograph. Okay, so many, many months ago, I would say more than nine months ago, we um, introduced the concept as automatic. Now, the concept as has been around for quite some time, and is progressing into uh, multiple generations already. And the idea behind it is, is making the watch case a much more unique concept. So that's why we call concept S. S stands for space, stands for um, uh, space shuttle. So it's more like uh, a very unique shape of the watch case. So last time we introduced the automatic, this time we're gonna introduce the chronograph. Now, what I like about this is this concept as the crown position is at 12 o'clock. And this time we're using the SII VD55. So under the normal circumstance, when it comes, when we're gonna to come to uh, the close up, I'm gonna to explain to you why this is such a unique design for the concept S. Uh, it's because the position of the movement has been turned traditionally from three o'clock position we went up to the 12 o'clock position. So everything, all the subdials has been changed to a different location. So, all right, so let's come in and let's just gonna talk about all the details. Now, I love this case design. It is such a unique uh, design. I'm gonna, now this time I wanna put it on my wrist first so you can understand the coolness of this watch case. Now I have a six and a half inch wrist, okay? As I really need every, everybody to understand the way I engineered all the watch cases, okay? You see how it tapers? I have a six and a half inch wrist and it fits perfectly on my wrist. I don't know how to explain to many of the guys, you know, all right, if you're used to wearing smaller cases, I get it, 38, 40 or 42, and you don't want to venture out, you know, to a larger watch case. Totally, it's totally cool. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm trying to tell everyone is, let's forget about your, you know, used to wear a small watch and you're open-minded and you're willing to try something different and something larger. I just want you to know if you have a larger wrist, eight inches, you know, eight inch wrist or nine inch wrist, this will fit you. Even you have small wrists like I do, it will fit you. It's very comfortable. Uh, <clears throat> it's completely, you know, like there's no overhanging. Okay, if you look at the look, how short it is. I know a lot of watch brands might scare some of you in the past when they make a big watch. Okay, they make such a large, long lug from north to south, right? And also when they do the lug, they don't taper, okay, or angle down to control it around your wrist. So that's why many people put on a larger watch in the past, they were like, oh my gosh, that's not for me. I'll never try another one again. Okay, so enough of that. So the north to south of this is approximately 58 to 59 millimeter, and the width is 48 millimeter from three to nine o'clock position. Now, since I have the close up, and this is why I like this watch so much, okay? As you can see, there's decorations on the side of the case, and these are all done with CNC machine, okay? So CNC is a numerical laser machine that cuts out all the necessary parts, you know, that I went into the technical drawing, how I want to cut, you know, these knurling on the side, and then the groove on the side of the watch case. And you can also see the, uh, the turning bezel is overhang just a little bit over the side of the case, the sidewall of the case. So the sidewall of the case extended out, okay? But you can still manage to turn the bezel perfectly and easily, okay? The, by the way, the loom on this watch is incredible because it's the green loom glows green. Now, remember in the beginning of the introduction, I was explaining to you, um, you know, the VD55, usually the crown and the buttons are located at the three o'clock position. So imagine this, okay? So imagine the movement is like this. So uh, traditionally, or normal situation is, your fast runner will be at your 12, okay? If I am doing this correctly, okay? 
uh, will be at the 12 o'clock position, and then um, the chrono second at the six, and then the chrono minute at the nine, right? So as you can see, I designed a watch with the crown at the 12. So the chrono fast runner, the one tenth will be over here. So I'm gonna activate it and it's running. And you can see the chrono second over here, the chrono minute is, which is chrono 60, count to 60. And this is your hour, your minute, and your regular second hand. And I really like how all the, so imagine like how I designed the case. You see it's angled down. So it gives the watch on your wrist more aerodynamic. Now I'm gonna turn it around and show you how the case back looked like. Sorry, I, if I didn't remove this, it's just to indicate the screw down crown. Make sure, you know, a lot of people, believe it or not, there's a lot of new collectors coming in to our, you know, enjoying watches. And some people, they don't understand what the screw down crown is. We are just making sticker in the case back to remind everybody. Cause I, we're still getting emails from people like, oh, I just got your new arrogant watch and I keep pulling the crown, they're not coming out. So if they see the screw down crown, so you can turn the crown and unscrew and release the crown, right? So anyway, let's go back to here. You can see how, you see how this, the lug, so this is the case back, the case. So the case back is recessed beneath the case. And then you can see the lug is curved, right? One stage, how it's like a, like a skateboard ramp. Skating, skating ramp. You see how that is? It's really, really cool design. All right. The lug is 24 millimeter. And so let's go back. So I want you to see the silver, the silver tone is taking this sun ray. Well, maybe I should say, you know how um, nowadays there's a lot of car cars, they like to have that matte finish. That's what it seems like with the dial. The outside of sun ray is matte. The sub you know, the sub dials are also done in matte finish. It's like this, um, it's like, it feels like, you know, like that, you know, those window or, uh, or the glass is like that, that, that white finish, that mash finish is really, really nice. So we have two choices. One is the silver case and one is the brown case. Okay. Very, very cool. So I'm going to give you a, um, you know, a quick tour of the brown so you can understand what it feels and what it looks like when you get this watch at home. Same thing, chronograph, start, stop, recess. Okay, let me try this again, stop. And when you reset, it goes back to zero. Everything goes back to the center. Now, just a quick demonstration of the screw down crown. So when you get pick this up, everybody can see, all right? And then you can pull out the crown, adjust time, push it back in, push, and lock the crown at the same time. All right, believe it or not, we still have people saying, oh, I have moisture inside my watch. I never, I never took the watch to swimming or shower. I have moisture in the middle of the glass. It's because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, people left the crown open, okay? And then when they wash their hands, the, wa the moisture goes inside of the watch and damage the movement. So make sure you lock the crown. I say that again and again in almost all the videos. I tell everybody that. Uh, super soft, silicone strap, very, very nice. I'm gonna put on the browns, just give you an idea what it looks like on my wrist. If you're gonna get, um, if you're gonna ask, I know a lot of guys, they always ask, Wing, which color should, should I pick? If you want the most unique, get this, the two-tone, the silver, silver basil with the IP brown, all right? It's, it's cool, it's normal, it's not like crazy looking color. And it goes with everything. It goes with jeans and everything that we wear, like white shirts, white t-shirts, khaki pants, everything. So, all right, so always have the demonstration over here. So if I have finished, talk about all the specs is, so let me run the spec one more time, just in case if I didn't mention it. So the width of the case, three to nine is 48. Okay, the bezel is approximately 42. Lug to lug is about 59, 60 millimeter, uh, north to south. The strap width is 24 millimeter. Um, movement is VD55 by Seiko, okay? So you have your fast runner, chrono second, and chrono minute, okay? C counted as 60 minutes. So I hope I cover everything up. Um, and also, screw down crown. Make sure you screw down crown. So your button over here at the 11 is start and stop, and over here at the one o'clock is your reset. 
reset button. Okay, very cool. Uh, water resistance 200 meters. You can swim, you can shower, you can do everything with this watch, and as long as you lock the crown, make sure you lock the crown. I'm gonna say that again and again because so many people are still forgetting to lock their crown. Now over here, I we have two examples. Okay, so when you order, this is how it's gonna come with the silicone strap. But remember, always, always do the add-on. Okay, that's how you save money with all the Aragon watches. And this on the same page. Okay, when you pick the watch, and then right next to the picture, there's all these little buttons. So you can pick, oh, um, leather strap, mesh bracelet, NATO leather, okay? So when you add on, it's much more, ex less ex much less expensive. So we just wanted to show you the example of the mesh bracelet, okay? That's what it looks like. All right, now, very importantly, even though with a mesh bracelet, you see how it goes around my wrist? It doesn't look like, um, you know, it doesn't look like anything in the world. I, I have to say that again and again. I This concept is, is incredible. Um, and the way it feels, you know, the way it wears on your wrist is incredible, okay? So that's what it looks like with the NATO leather strap. Very, very good looking, all right? So, all right, thank you very much. I think I cover up everything. And uh, this, this is... Uh, this is something that you don't want to miss. I know I say that again and again with all the Aragon watch review. It just shows you how much I love every single one of the watch. And because every single one of the watch is designed, I'm the only one who designed all the watches. We don't seek out any design firm. We don't have 60 designers in a firm. It's just only me. So that's why it is such a unique brand that we have. Okay, so I will see you again very, very soon.